And all right, Max, what do you got for us, Steve? All right, we'll keep it simple here, guys. Uh, Trey Young's coming into the Garden tomorrow to face the Celtics. I want to know, take your pick. Who do you got, Trey Young or Luka Doncic? Uh, come on, Trey, give us the hot take. I got to go with Trey Young. <laughs> when you are having a kind of season where you're putting up numbers and you're doing things that are putting you in the same class as Michael Jordan, you are someone that I am going to go chips all in with. Luka has had a great season. He's going to be a great pro. But I look at that Mavericks team, and frankly, they're, they're regressing as opposed to progressing. Right. Whereas you look at what's happening in Atlanta, Trey Young has got those guys rolling in the right direction, him and John Collins. So I'm going Trey Young. And I think the rookie of the year race is closer than people think. Mm. I understand Luka dominated the first three months, but if you look at the last two months, yeah. it's been all Trey Young. And I agree with Sherrod. Atlanta's getting better. Yeah. Luka, for all his exploits, they're going to miss the playoffs out there in Dallas. They're actually struggling down the stretch here. Give me Trey Young. I, I can't wait to run this back in 10, 15 years when we're getting ready. When, when Luka is one of the elite NBA superstars, when all Atlanta fans are so angry about why they drafted Trey Young over Luka Doncic, the clear answer here is Luka. He's going to be a top five player in this league. He's already shown the glimpses. I can't believe you guys are even making this a competition. Yeah, you guys right, are, you, Chris next? is right, it's Luca. Come on, Luca Hive. Uh, all right, moving on, we got, who has a better sneaker? Kyrie Irving or Paul George? See, now that's a trick question. I'll tell you why. I think Paul George's sneakers are aesthetically more pleasing. Like, I actually love the way Paul George's sneakers work. But ever since Zion wore them and they blew out on them, I'm done with Paul George's, you know? I, what, give me what, Kyrie. Did, wow, just, just one blowout out and you're done. Yeah, he went with the Kyries uh, for the ACC tournament, you know. Had and, the and best game had an awesome ever. awesome game. And those Kyries, they actually do feel comfortable. Well, you know what? I got to go with Kyrie just from the beginning because first and foremost, Kyrie has a lot more diversity with his shoes. When you think about all the different types that he comes out with, I like that he keeps you guessing. He keeps kind of like he does us, keeps us <laughs> guessing. Same with his shoes. And the point that you made about Zion, the dude did not, literally has not missed a shot when he's wearing <laughs> Kyrie Irving shoes. You got to go with Kyrie. Come on, Chris. I, I'm with you with Kyrie. I like, listen, uh, there are some great PG versions, but the Kyrie consistently brings the heat with his shoe wear, when you've got potentially the next NBA uh, superstar already giving you all this great publicity about your shoes, it's even better. Kyrie in a landslide. We all agree on that one, Max. Yeah, Kyrie is actually, the Kyries are worn by more NBA players than the PGs, but it's real close. Actually, everyone wears Kobe's for the most part, and nobody wears LeBron's. Uh, moving on, March Madness versus the field. What's the best sporting event? Is it March Madness or anything else? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in here. I'm going the Masters. Like, I love, I know, like, golf nerd, you guys can laugh me out of the building. I get jazzed up for that weekend. You could even, I could say the British Open. Like, those four days when I used to wake up as a kid and I would, I would flip on the network and watch it every morning. Like, you know, it was nice to see. As a golf nut, I really enjoy that four-day span. March Madness is fun and there's a lot of, you know, but, like, people forget. Outside of the, the final two minutes of those games, those games are boring and they're terrible. What? I hate watching March Madness. It, it's been great that we can flip over 500 times and find true TV and watch the end of it. The only reason March Madness will be great this year, and Max will agree with this, Northeastern University. Listen, Chris, I, I, I love you, but you are so wrong on this one. It is definitely March Madness. It's the one time a year where all sports fans across all platforms with all interests come together and unite for teams that they may not know a whole lot about, but we learn about them, and there's a pool. And Which I do pretty good in most gets years, involved. so there's that. Syracuse may not do good in the tournament, but Sherrod does good in his Second NCAA round, office pool. Max, it's definitely the NCAA tournament, man. It's, yeah, Chris, uh, you're a traitor. It's where you can wake up and then watch till midnight, till you go to bed. Like right. You can literally watch it when you wake up, and then when you fall it's asleep, it's still on. It's also. why it's guys schedule their vasectomies right before the tournament every year. It's science. Google it. All right, I'm done, guys, on that one. <laughs> enough, enough. All right, Max, thanks so much.